Welcome back to Retro Gaming Channel, where we're currently going to be doing a walkthrough on Harry Potter the Critics World Cup on the PS2. This is just going to be a walkthrough part one. It's not really a walkthrough, we're just going to play through the Critics World Cup game, but let's not play anymore, let's just get directly into it. Checking for memory card, PS2. I've never played this one before, I've played all of the... Yeah, 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 Ten months ago, playing Chamber of Secrets and Philosopher's Stone, up to exactly like this, and I can't lie, it's, even though it's not that long ago, it's kind of just sketchy. Unfortunately, you have not yet won the Quidditch Cup at Hogwarts. Which oh, means between the Quidditch Cup at Hogwarts. And then we can go to the World Cup. Okay. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. No, Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. This ball's called the Quaffle. The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the keeper. I'm keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. The bludgers walk around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock them towards the other team. To sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the quaffle or the bludgers. This is the golden snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the seeker's job to weave in and out of the chasers, beaters, bludgers and quaffle to catch the snitch before the other team's seeker because whichever seeker catches the snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the snitch is caught. Any questions? No? Good. 
Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. OK, so if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch. Alright, I really do it. Congratulations on choosing Gryffindor. I'll be your guide from now on. Passing, a person shots, TK. This game's gonna be a lot longer. No, no, I mean, um, thought it was going to be. I'm not actually going to go my past. I enjoyed it, I'm just going to go down. Right then, so let's just start with the first one. Passing. I'm Angelina Johnson, and I'm a Gryffindor chaser. Right, do, we need to speak, do we need to beat the team score, maybe? Alright, that's our broomstick, and this is our pass. Okay. Sounds simple enough. <laughs> no, it will be that. Ooh. This challenge is all about passing the bottle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation, and between each chaser you'll see a magical rim. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must... Oh, I was going to see if we can put subtitles on, I don't think we can. Alright, let's just continue. Right, you ready? No, no. Pass the quaffle back and forth through the rings while they are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will cause that ring to turn red, and a time penalty will be incurred. Hi there, Harry here. To pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your pass. Excellent! A new Quidditch card! You might have beaten, so you know, I think I could have better today again. We might as well just stop. We've done it. Beat the team record. Choose to say. Save in game data. The memory card. PS2. Save. Complete. Actually might be short if they're all like that this actually might be a one two part brilliant we've won our first quidditch card the more cards we win the more our team will be able to do these cards will open up all sorts of other things too you can take a look at your quidditch cards anytime you like as long as you're not actually playing press this button and select the view cards option Use right. view cards option we've got 140 so we have to do like you could do technically each house. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do every single house. We'll wait and see. Yeah, we could do. One episode would be all Gryffindor, one would be Slytherin, one would be Hufflepuff, and one would be Ravenclaw. I might do actually. My name's Let's begin. Shoot circle tackle this cross. Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait. Nathan, so This is a one-on-one -on -one -on -one. challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously a pretty good Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the corporal, trying to avoid your chaser. The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the goal hoops. Edgar will, of course, not only try to prevent your chaser from gaining the quaffle, but will also try to prevent them from scoring. Hi there, Harry here. Just a quick reminder, press the action button to tackle, and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. Good luck! <laughs> We've won some new yeah, Quidditch cards. This is quite easy. Each house, all the cards. And two. So do you have to? That's uh, where you get more cards. You get. It is that. It probably won't be every house. Hmm. Wait and see. Appreciate it. Once I've actually have come a lot faster, haven't they? Loading. So much. Oh, so you can get three. I've got one out of three. Why is it say one out? Oh, okay, I didn't get this good record. One out of three. One out of three. One out of three. One out of three. We did quite poor. And the My name's How. No, we'll just stick with Gavin Dolan and go through a cop and just do one. No, we might just lift it. A golden snidget has escaped from a snidget reservation, and because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. This is a good opportunity to learn about slipstreaming and boosting when playing in a real match. And Madam Hooch is going to help us out. You'll see that Potter must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the Golden Snidget. This is so that he can accumulate enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the Snidget. Once Potter has enough boost, I will peel off and leave grabbing the Snidget to him. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost. And when you're close enough, grab that Snidget. Oh, Harry. Great! Some new Quidditch cards! We got two out of three. Right, let's make sure to save. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Oh. Whoops, save and continue. Save and continue, save complete. So used to again say no, I just read it as what it normally is. Brilliant effort! You've been successful in your first three house challenges, and you're now ready to play a real British match. Oh, I was just trying. Oh my god, son, we just we legit went every house and just didn't go. We have to do the crit there. School for for the football, but 
Ready for a match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see. Can we choose changing players, or are we just a specific player? Or does it change for me? I'll have to stick as Harry and just keep flying about trying to find the snitch, maybe. Or it'd be more fun than stealing the ball and scoring. Really. Hello, this is Lee Jordan commentating from an excited stadium here at Hogwarts. My good friend and Arden Quidditch fan, Seamus Finnegan, joins me for today's game between Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Thank you, Lee. I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams fight yourselves. Madam Wood will referee today's match. With the pass! Bell! With a pack of footage. That's a box. Is that a box? Well, who makes this shot? She throws it! 
Angelina Johnson. Cuts it off. She grabs the quaffle. She takes the shot. Fantastic. Right on target. Alright, carry on. File. Yes. Gryffindor's at the top! Love to see it. <laughs> That's from Tin. Oh wow, we were barely on top. We lifted to really well in that trip, didn't we? That's lucky. Why are we going to have challenges in there? Oh, do you have to be with the now? Okay. Like, B2. I'm Fred Weasley. My brother, Joe. Good. Alright, Bloodshot Square, Broom Set Control, Call Left, and your Stick. In this challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against Bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, that is, George and me, will be searching for targets placed throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is whack a bludger at each of the targets. It sounds simple enough. Except that once the bludger has hit a target, it will rebound and pursue the chaser relentlessly until the beaters can bat it away. Boy. Harry here with a reminder. Use the broomstick control to explore the area. Press and hold the bludger button and guide the bludger towards the target. This is bare heart.
We've won a new Quidditch card. We didn't get the penalty. It would have been a better score, but even though it was a record, I'm assuming they set quite easy records for the game. Make you feel good that you be a record. Right then, let's start the special move house challenge. I'm a chaser for Gryffindor. I'll teach you about dodging and special move tackles. Right, you guys, you ready? <laughs> right, so dodge is triangle, shoot, and special move is circle. Quite self-explanatory. This shouldn't be that hard. So this is all good. Right, let's continue. This is a one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and our old ghostly friend Edgar Clogs. Edgar's going to try and take the coffee from your chaser and prevent them from scoring a goal. Edgar's in a particularly troublesome mood and your chaser needs to employ the dodge to launch a special Edgar's move. An expert at the special move tackle and this means it's going what? to be very difficult okay. for your chaser to keep the coffee for longer than a couple of seconds. Harry is a reminder. I can't tell you I know what I did there, but... Nice. Go on, Anne. Have we just done it? Look <laughs> like the... Proof is time like two minutes. That's just very easy. So you can continue. Yeah, use this save. Yeah, I arrive. There we go, right, select special move in the interface to view all moves. You have unlock so far, press R1, R1 plus circle within the scoring zone from special move shoots. Shots. Shoots. <laughs> right, so we've done Wavenclaw, we've got Hoverpuff and then Slytherin. Okay. So you'd like a match with Hoverpuff, would you? Let's play for the quest. Dodge is triangle, shoot a circle. Square is bludger, cross is action. I'm not sure what action would mean. I'm going to try the bludger first, see what it actually does. I'm bludger, should we press this button? Bludger, 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 get Get What? Oh, so you'll do this to steal it To steal the bludger, surely Maybe not <laughs> Have I forgot already? X is pass, yeah, we know that Nice just... 
Oh, X is still the bludger, okay. Whose name? I'm Fred, or George, or Mum. Listen to. No, 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 it's Phil's. You don't know how it feels. Parents are dead. You have no family. Go. Go on. And you? Come in or you stay in? Go and get the ball. Nice. Fine. I get it. Did you trade the other night? What? That's, that's, that's nothing. Get the ball. That one. Go in. Damn it. Mum, easy. Ah, oh, I meant to go the middle one. Flips it. What's that special move? Yes. Sixty ten. Let's try and come in. Circle. That was sick. That was sick. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, I thought it. Nice. We're gonna get the snitch and his hamstring because this is just bullying at this point. Oh, come on, get it. There we go. Should we go middle one? Go on then. Easy. Oh, come on, let's do Ah, oh, easy. This left middle one. I'm oh, meant to go left. Ah, oh, should be 100. Nice. Joy is a set Scott wait, does it not count? Ow. Oh you did, okay. Ah, that's annoying, come on. I don't know how to change players or go faster. <laughs> nice. Nice. Why I threw that? Why is it going after me for? There we go. She flips it. Bell. She throws it. Spinet. Take the shots. She makes it. McAvoy. Nice. Go on, get him. No, or her. So I don't know who that was. What's that done? What the hell is this? This is sick. Nice. 
<laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Nice. I don't know if I'm controlling that or not. I don't have no clue what's going on. Damn it. <laughs> what's going on? Damn it. When are we going to be getting a snatch? Nice. When are we going to be Harry? Or do am I? I'm this person. I'm, I'm Jean Jolie, I think. Come on. She flips it. Come on, catch it. Come on. How did I save that? Where are we hurry now? No. I think we can just like not dribble it, but you get what I mean. It's like Yeah, we can. I wish I could just smack it from me and I'm sick. Oh, that was smoke. Come on. Go on. Ah, nice. Why are we not getting a snitch yet? Is that... We have to get them to gaffer before we can get the snitch? Is that what it is? Let's see if it, when we score it gets closer. Oh no, time's getting closer, it's just time. Okay. So how many goals can we score in a set amount of time before we have to get the snitch? Get or win the snitch, lose the snitch and see how that affects the score. That's quite cool. So... Yeah, I'm never getting the snitch. Okay. Come on, Harry. Come on. Come on. Come on, you've got it! Come on! How have you not got that? Get out of the way! Come on! You got this. Come on. How have you not got it? What do I have to press? What do I have to press to get it? I got it. Surely. Wait, what? Okay, let's go. Right, match results. Three critch cards won. Nice. New shiny's unlocked. 320. Who was it against again? Raven thought. Mm. <laughs> Shots did say. 
Zero saves to five, 22 goals to two, Budgets hit, nothing to one, special moves four to zero. We absolutely smoked them. All right, let's save for it in a typical save. Gryffindor's at the top. Nice. Difference. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen they've got Draco in this team. If that's why they're so bad. So Draco, I love you really. So now we have to do homos. And after we've done that, done that, done that, done that, and done that. So after that, I assume we just um, do this, play the final game, and then we go straight to the World Cup. Let's just quickly do combos then. I'm Oliver Wood, Gryffindor team captain and key. Right, shoot. Why are you doing shoot? Combat, is that R1? Yeah, I can R1 is to save combos. Controlling your chasers, you need to direct one or more combo passes into the scoring area. You then need to Wait, I'm so confused. Press. Harry here. Use the action button together with one or both of the combo buttons to perform a combo pass. Use the broomstick control to direct them. Press R1 hour one, which is the these ones, yeah. By double tapping. We just have to score. Because I'm so confused. I reckon we just have to score. Maybe? I don't know. Press that and that for a combo pass. That's correct, okay. That wasn't the best, was it? <laughs> wow, we've won a new Quidditch card. Alright, we'll save and continue. And why does it save and continue? This is going to bring it to an end to Harry Potter, British World Cup, PS2 walkthrough part one on the Retro Gaming channel. I hope you enjoyed it, and I reckon there's probably one more part, and then we're going straight on to Spider-Man. So, hope you have a good morning, evening, and night, and peace.